front of him. Uh, good finish. And to everyone tuning in from Hong Kong and Malaysia, welcome. Thanks for listening. Welcome here to Tiantai Stadium. It's me and Dai Reese, the general manager of performance at Hong Kong. Wasn't too happy a couple of hours ago seeing Hong Kong dumped out of the quarterfinal by China. Um, but delighted to see the ladies getting through to the final, beating Japan 5-0. A little bit of an upset in the semi-final. It's very hot here. 28, 30 degrees down there in the middle. After a wet day yesterday, it's wet and a bit chilly. Not very good for rugby, and today is, apart from the heat, the pitch is good. It's a good nick. It's a good restart from Hood. Woodward can't quite get one. Bat it back, he knocks it forward under the attention of Ben Ahmad from Malaysia. of you tuning in from Malaysia. Seen some good rugby from the Malaysians in this tournament. 100% local boys. So he gets that one in. It's a tussle and penalises Hong Kong. There he goes Zizi again. Gives it out to Tahir. And running back on the cut is Ahmad. And just going forward there. Some good lines being run out there, but the Hong Kong defence was up to it. taken that cleanly, might have had some space there on the outside, but comes back, Hunter to Lawa. Ball in one hand, Fijian style. Lee to Woodward, to Hood. It's good flat passing. Rowan Barty gets one in front. Tries to get over the top of Zizi, but he can't. Tamizi is held on desperately. <laughs> but Barty's still going. Hopping forward under the attention of three. Woodward now to Kam Shing. There's Kadu Lee. The Kowloon Club in Hong Kong. Calvin Hunter is too big and strong. He's in for a second. Did he get that down? Yes, he did. Work from the debutante under the posts. And that takes it to 17 nil. And time is up on the clock. Who's going to take the kick? Jamie Hood has to get the ball himself, and that's. Rambo won't be happy with the ball boys here. The clipboard will come out. <laughs> that is half time. Hood converts. It's 19 0. Hong Kong over Malaysia in this plate semi final here in Qingdao.
Die, Reese, you haven't touched your vegetables. I know, I think they forgot about us, guys. I think they forgot about us and we had uh, lunch at about an hour and a half later. It is a bit uh, a bit cold now, to say the least. So the rice is uh, quite tasty. Cold chicken feet, not my okay. cup of tea. Here we go on the second half. This plate semi. Hong Kong leading Malaysia 19-0. Max Woodward takes it down. Field inside to Lawa and he's got the fend on. He's got the big legs working. And they won't stop him. The man from Kowloon in Hong Kong. It's a very quick start. And looks like Woodward might have pinged a hammy there. He's clutching the back of his leg. It's not good news for Hong Kong. Like he's pinged it and he's putting ice on it straight away. Hopefully that's not too serious. For the Hong Kong captain. With a couple of legs ahead of us. With Bangkok. 26-27th of September and then to Sri Lanka, 10th 11th of October. Three legs of this Asian 7 series as we build towards the Olympic qualifiers in Hong Kong for the men, 7th and 8th of November. And the winner of that will be going to Rio. So the conversion was missed, so it's Hong Kong 24, Malaysia nil. He's come on for Woodward and he's straight into the action. Turned it over to Malaysia. We haven't really had any chances yet. Very limited ball. Good sandwich there by Hood. And you he loses it. Oh, see the Hong Kong have ripped that out and it's gone forward. Here come Alex McQueen and Ben Rimini for Jamie Hood and Rowan Varty. That's that familiar style from Malaysia of booting the ball back at the scrum from Tahir. It's worked a couple of times and it hasn't worked on another. He's Kadu Lee under intense pressure and he's done well there to get away from Tamizi. He's waited for his players to get back. It's good work from Lee. Here goes Yu Kam Shing trying to get the hands free. Lee's on hand to swing it wide again. Rimini's there to Hunter. Slightly behind him, slow momentum. Here goes Mays. Flick it inside. No. Lau is there to get the ball up. And he's taken his eyes off that and he's dropped it. With the shadow of the sticks. And in the end, Malaysia doing well to defuse that. Force the error. <laughs> Let's watch the scrum here if Tahir is going to risk kicking it back. Yes, he does again. He does it. And he's got himself into trouble. And Kadu Lee can't get a hold of it. But it's a very <laughs> distinctive style of halfback play. An effective way of doing What do you think, Don? Is that uh, it's, uh, uh, it's interesting <laughs> approach. You see the odd one, um, the odd kick pass throughout the tournament. But. Uh, the Malaysian scrum half is turning into its, its regular pass rather than the odd one. And uh, on four occasions today, or to this game, sorry, he's uh, he's used that little kick pass. Will he risk one here under the shadow of his <laughs> goalposts? Just a, it's a bit of a lottery for his fly half. This time he uses the hands and he does well. It's paid off. McQueen get, getting back for this. He's got no one else behind him. Ooh, and he's done well there under pressure from... Zainuddin, and he's going to go all the way there. 
Oh, well done, Alex McQueen. And he selfishly gives it up to Chris Mays. It's a good return. American football style. Trapes him back 50 metres. And then bringing it forward 50 metres to give it up. Good work from Alex McQueen. And that takes Hong Kong to a 29-0 lead over Malaysia with two minutes remaining. Yeah, maybe he should have kicked the ball in the scrum half. <laughs> it was the first clean ball he got away. And, uh, <laughs> great cover in though by uh, Alex McQueen to get back and uh, cover the kick, the long downfield kick. And Chris Mays not tempted to a one-handed fancy touchdown he safe and steady dives across the line conversion has missed and Remini gets us restarted again see Nick Houston's on the field defence today. But here's a chance. Oh, that's nicely played. Beautifully played in fact and he gets the bounce. Oh! Unlucky. That was very industrious. A good break on the side and the wing and the kick ahead. Good vision. Just taking the bounce. Otherwise he might have been in. Great work by Kaduli as well and Chris Mays chasing back. Um, lots to play for for the Hong Kong team. They'll be disappointed, but it's great to see them working hard in defence in the dying minutes of this game. Time's up on the clock, and Hong Kong wanting to play on. Houston gets it out for Rimini. Spots a gap, twinkle toes. From Cambridge. You with the quick one. Remini to Lee. He sees that the defence is coming up. He decides to smack it out to Hunter, who cleverly keeps it in. <laughs> and Malaysia also wanting to play on. Good stuff by both teams. Never over. So here with the kick and chase, Kaduli getting back once again. And are we going to try again? Yes, we are. Moving into Houston. There's Kaduli. That's going forward. So we were right in line with that. And that was harsh, but I think everyone's had enough. And that's the end of the game. So it's Hong Kong 29, Malaysia 0 in this plate semi-final and up next we'll have Kazakhstan versus Philippines in the other plate semi before we then get into the big cup semi-final Sri Lanka versus China and South Korea versus Japan two beauties ahead Sri Lanka and Korea form teams of this tournament <laughs> <laughs> 